Do you see that coyote? Jess, do you see it? I see it. Yeah. Wow. So serendipitous. Okay, welcome to the wetland. Hi, everyone. So we are just starting a little wetland tour and we walked in and the coyote just happened to be on our little bridge there, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so what does that tell you about the wetland, Jess? Well, it tells us that we have some predators that are living here and stalking um, some rabbits maybe or some, I don't know if they eat birds, but um, yeah, it's telling us that we have all sorts of levels of the food chain here in our wetland. That's awesome. Does that feel successful? That feels so successful. The goal of any restoration project is to basically create habitat for all sorts of species. Predators, to insects, to plants, to mushrooms. And so, successful sighting today. Awesome. I'm just gonna move the camera around and, and let folks see how this space looks different from the rest of the farm. So you can tell that even though we're really close to some houses and our parking lot, obviously there's still a lot of flora and fauna happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> should we should we keep walking? I think we should. Yeah. yeah cool. And um, just want to share that I I brought my my binoculars too, so you know we're ready for action. <laughs> okay, Jess, lead on. All right. When you're looking for animals, you want to be really quiet. Get to look up. We saw an owl up here a couple weeks ago. So we're walking up right where we saw the coyote just hanging out. So maybe we'll see some signs of it. I'm not seeing any animals, but it doesn't mean that they're not there. You can always look down for signs of broken branches or scat, mm -hmm. and uh, that would help indicate whether or not animals have been tromping through. Cool. Could you share a couple of the native plant species that you've put into this wetland? Definitely. All right. This guy right here is a red twig dogwood. So he's a native plant. He's going to get about this high. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, here's a here's a mature one right next to it. Oh, there we go. Um, and they get red sticks in the winter, or twigs, and uh, during the summer they leaf out and they have little berries. Uh, what else do we put over here? What about the um, cedar? This is a red western cedar. Mm -hmm. You can always tell because of its scaly leaves. And it's gonna go get really tall. Yeah, and I love this one. I know that some indigenous groups, some of the Coast Salish called it the tree of life. Mm, that's a good name. Yeah. Here's Girl. something that might be fun. See this log? I don't wanna knock knock. Is anyone home here? <laughs> this is what we would call a great uh, place to live. What a cozy home. This is a, a great habitat building feature to have old logs. So many insects probably live here, which is going to attract other animals that eat insects. And then it will attract even larger animals that eat those animals that eat insects. So it's a important part of any functioning wetland system is to have decaying logs and branches and broken trees. Awesome. Let's see if we can spot anything else that And we're just coming up out to the main part of the farm and you'll see what a difference it is. <laughs> How different it looks. Alright. Yeah. Back back out in the field here. Cool. <laughs> here we are. It's quite different now, isn't it? <laughs> Sweet. Well, uh, thanks for showing us around, Jess. Do you wanna have any last words there? Um no, I think the wetland speaks for itself. <laughs> Sweet.